<clears throat> okay, when I first saw the question, I looked at it. And what I looked at is this over here. And then I started thinking, you know, what could I do with that? And then, you know, I, I, I had a few uh, false attempts to it. And then I started to realize it's a binomial. And what I mean by that looks, <coughs> I see those coefficients, you know, uh, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. And then I see these six, 69, 5 to the fourth, I'm sorry, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, none. All right, so then I write this over here. I write down A plus 1 to the fifth power. That's a binomial. If you expand this, you're going to get A5. These are binomial coefficients, plus 5 times 69 to the fourth power. Now, if you can't remember the coefficients, you could write down Pascal's triangle if you want, or compute them. Let me just write them down for you. I'm just adding the prior two um, coefficients to get this. This would be 5, 10, 10, and you should see symmetry in this, right? But next term going to be 10, 69, Oh, you know what? I'm using A. I, I, I made a mistake there. Let me erase again. I, I got distracted with that table. So let's write the A, A plus 1 down to the fifth power. It's going to be A5 plus 5A4 plus 10. I'm using these coefficients, by the way. A cubed plus 10. Um, A squared plus 5A plus 1. All right, so let's write down, uh, if I had 69 plus 1 to the fifth power, what that would look like? 69 to the fifth power plus 5 times 69 to the fourth power plus 10 times 69 to the third power plus 10 times 69 squared, 5 times 69 plus 1. Now, I'm going to put 69 to the 0 over here. Uh, you got the pattern, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's just look up here. Hey, I'm, I'm seeing it. We're pretty explicit about it. You know, 69 to the 5th, I'm seeing that. Uh, 5, 69 to the 4th, I'm seeing that. I'm seeing that. I'm seeing that. I'm seeing that. And I'm seeing that. So what, what do I have? I have actually 70 to the 5th power. All right, now, so what's, this, what's their question? Um, their question is, you know, how many positive integers are factors of that? So they're really asking for the number of divisors. So I look at the number 70, divide by 2, that would be 35, divide by 5, and that would be 7. So I get 2, I get 5, and I get 7, and then I get it to the fifth power. And that's 2 to the fifth, 5 to the fifth, and 7 to the fifth. Now, the, the number of choices I have for this one over here, for divisors of n, I would have the following choices. It would be 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, yada, 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 all up to 5. So there's six choices there, all right? How many choices here? It's the same. There's six choices here. How many choices over here? There's six choices over here. How many choices in all? It's a product. 6 times 6 times 6, or 6 cubed, just the total number of choices. Let me do some side arithmetic. 6 squared is 36 times 6. Well, let's see. <coughs> 6 times 30 is 180, and 6 times 6 is 36. So you can get 216. So there's 216 choices. By the way, I'm of the opinion that this answer is as good as 216, and this answer is as good as 216 as well. Anyone's acceptable. Thank you.